Beauty. Strong. Get up. Get up. Very nice. They feel really good. Super easy to hit. They sound very solid. There's honestly a couple in there that would, you know, my reaction is, oh, that has no business being on a green, but yeah. like an iron that we both play with that tungsten, it really does help. And again, being this being a CB and being as forgiving as it is, there's a high level of handicaps that could, that could use these irons. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a brand new iron to mm -hmm. review, Michael. Yeah. The Betonardi CB24s. A little couple photos online uh, on tour. Mm -hmm. um, when they have their tour bags for their putters, they had a set of these kicking about. Um, so far, they look they look really good. Five years in the uh, in the making yeah. for a company obviously more renowned for putters and in recent years wedges also. Mm -hmm. um, getting a lot of a lot of praise for for that wedge. I Definitely. Think, uh, that may have been part of the inspiration. It's probably always always part of the agenda at some point with their background in sort of metals and materials and, and sort of processes and manufacturing, Mikey. Yeah. But um, when I heard that there was an iron coming, I, I suppose I was still a bit surprised yeah. uh, in a good way. Uh, you know, I thought obviously core competency with the short game to expand into an iron and, and be committed to that, that's a lot of R&D money. That's yeah. a lot of resources that then, you know, we know what goes into all totally. of these OEMs making the irons that they do. Um, so for a smaller company like Betonardi who specialize in short game tools to get into the iron game, I thought, fair play. Yeah, I know there's, uh, you know, they got a lot of tour pros that use their putters. They mm -hmm. posted a video with uh, Freddie Couples. He was testing the irons. I mean, to hear his praises, I know he's close with the Betonardi family. Yeah, he's used yeah. one for a while, but I mean, obviously to watch him hit, he doesn't really miss the center. Does not. He was giving it high praises. Um, there is a blade, but we're reviewing the CB today. CB24, yeah, the, the blade, from what I've seen in the pictures, is not, it's not gonna be one that's gonna intimidate people no. you know, immensely. Uh, and I think with the shaping, when you guys see them, uh, when we obviously put up the images of, uh, of the irons, I mean, you'll see there's, they're built for the majority of golfers. Totally. I think sometimes when these types of irons come out, they can maybe be too small and, and too mm -hmm. much of a player's product and yeah. really be quite niche in the market. But when you look at the offset profile, the top line profile, these are designed for any golfer to gravitate towards the irons. Yeah, for a one-piece forged iron. Mm. Um, and like you said, the photos will overlay. You'll see there's definitely a little bit more forgiveness. This. I think it widens the market of yeah. who, could, who could put these in the bag. And for their following of you know, putter collectors mm -hmm. and stuff like that, yeah, I'm sure a bunch of them would throw a set of irons in the bag. Yeah, definitely give them a try. I mean, for again, a company that's renowned for the materials they use uh, and, and the feel of their products, mm -hmm. I mean, with these, no expense has been spared no. uh, when it comes to these irons from a machining standpoint, from a material sourcing standpoint. So yeah, they use three materials. They use, obviously, the 1025 carbon, they use the ceramic, and they use the, uh, the tungsten positioned uh, very specifically for each iron. Yep. The ceramic is the interesting one. Obviously, tungsten for higher MOI to you know make the head more stable. Mm -hmm. um, the the CMC, this ceramic matrix composite that they have, is uh, is, is quite interesting. Totally different. Most companies not using no. that type of material. No, there's a, there's a couple. There's one other brand that I know of that's used ceramic in the past, but mm -hmm. haven't really, you know, followed through with it. So to see it, to see it come back, or to see it in a different brand or other brands starting to use it, is is definitely a cool concept. Yeah, without a doubt. Okay, let's uh, let's get some tests. We've got a set built specifically with your specs here, your shaft, uh, Modus Tour yep. 120s. Um, we're gonna do the four, seven, and Good wedge, charge. Mikey. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right, Magic Mike. Let's uh, let's get a few impressions. Yeah, um, I mean, at address behind the ball, definitely a little bit thicker top line. Not massive, but definitely has some some confidence behind it. The first couple swings made, like it, it does have some offset to it. Yeah. Um, for a CB iron, which, again, that's obviously you know going to help build that confidence. A little thicker top line, but really clean sole. Um, really little bit clean offset. sole. Um, I mean, it's a great looking iron. Like, mm -hmm. I love the look of them. I do as well. Um, but yeah, just to start off, a, a little bit of offset on the pitching wedge. Okay. Ah, 
that's skinny. Ooh. Oops. That sounded nice. I'm not saying this because I use a Bettinardi putter, but I, l I do love the feel of these irons. They feel super soft, easy to hit. I mean, there's a couple wedge shots in there that don't belong on a green that are. Okay, give me a couple more. <clears throat> there's no business going that far. Beauty. Strong. Get up. Get up. Very nice. They feel really good. Super easy to hit. They sound very solid. Yeah. I mean, for... There's honestly a couple in there that would... You know, my reaction is, oh, that has no business being on a green, but yeah. like an iron that we both play with that tungsten, it really does help. And again, being this being a CB and being as forgiving as it is, I mean, there's a high level of handicaps that could, that could use these irons. Yeah, agreed. I think the unsung hero of this iron, and I'll be curious to get your reaction to what it feels like is going to be that sole. Yeah. I think if, if yeah. we look at how thin that sole is, you know, when it gets down into the sort of mid and, and short, mm -hmm. uh, or even, even the long end, the four iron, there's just, there is a lot of mass down there, but it's uh, in weight, but yeah. not in sole. Sometimes it w when, Manufacturers, obviously, tungsten's expensive. High density tungsten totally. is very expensive to, to put in there. Um, so they would rather use a, a larger sole mass of the cheaper material mm -hmm. than, than go into the expensive stuff. Bettinardi and Tell have have really went all out yeah. on the, on the materials on they this. They have not skimped on these whatsoever. No, which probably why it took five years, right? They're not just going to push something out to get it to the market. All right, into seven iron, Michael. Yeah, again. Interesting, like they're still offset, but it's starting to look less and less mm. from wedge to seven iron. Aye. That sort of dress position visual that I get from behind here is really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, obviously very, very signature Bettinardi with mm -hmm. uh, with the sort of honeycomb and in the sort yeah. of the the little B logo that. Yeah. Uh, they're renowned for. Yeah, it looks super premium. Feel, like I said, it feels really good. Sounded really good. These iron videos are tough, you know? Confusing. Leaving you feel good. I could have 15 sets of irons this year. I mean, I was, I wasn't struck the best. Was that not last, not, didn't feel at your best? It felt a little skinny, but. I mean, it, I thought good. the uh, I thought the first one didn't sound. Yeah, the best. first one was skinny too. But look at them; both are the exact same, identical. Yeah, that's cool. Lots, that's lots of forgiveness height. packed in. That's a frac. That's a little toey. It's just the same. Uh, it's the same as those other ones, though. I know. Identical. Absolutely identical. If I can miss it a bunch like that on the golf course. Sign me up. They feel really good. They sound good. One more. What's the loft on the seven iron? It's 20, uh, sorry, 33. Is that it's nice. like low heel? Pretty nice. good. Still go there to your 170 number. Very good, Mikey boy. One that'll be interesting. You just keep using the same word like solid, just they sound really, really solid. So good, really impressed. <clears throat> they talk a lot about this loft dependent center gravity, Mikey. This, yeah. is, this is where I'm interested. I know that, and we all know if we watch Mikey do these tests, this is where you do start to sort of notice totally. a difference. Totally. When we put uh, the compare page up here and we, we look at the apex of the wedge in the seven and we see obviously it's very similar, that's what loft dependent center of gravity uh, is going to achieve for yeah. someone. The ability to maintain peak heights, obviously land angle, make sure we have the right balance and flight, obviously great dispersion on these for you. Um, but when it comes to a four iron, which you don't carry, don't even carry a five iron currently, nope. this is where it'll be uh, yeah. and a difference looking, maker. Looking at this sole is definitely intimidating. And for right now, for kind of how like steep I am, I'm hopefully I can get this airborne. <clears throat> okay, Mikey boy, 
Let's see what you've got in the locker with a four iron. Yeah, good luck. Now the confidence level <laughs> has gone down a bit with this. Yeah, see ya. Right ball. Solid, Mikey. Yeah, got away with it. Didn't feel you got it? No. Little heel side, okay. Almost. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, tell you what, it done well, didn't it? Yeah. Still flew, flew 193 or something like that. Again, I can hear it's in the heel side and... Again, for a low strike, like obviously I pulled it, but it came back. That's nice. Might be done. <laughs> Who's this guy? That's gotta be higher. Oh, it's way higher. I was striped. It's gotta be like 85 feet-ish. Come on. 90. 90. Love that. Plenty Ooh. of launch in that. Keys of deets. Okay. Um, Nice performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really uh, like them. There was a little change with the foreign that we made, made it a little bit more upright for myself. Yeah. Um, and move some ball position, but. Definitely, definitely helped. You know, we know that you're always going to fight face to path. Yeah. So, you know, they were at standard and then we made it a couple of degrees upright, which is uh, nice for you. I really like the feel of them. They, I mean, they perform on that, that miss hit. Like I said, we play current iron that does very similar to where that tungsten's kind of placed and you can miss it and get away with it. The mm -hmm. forearm is definitely less offset, thinner top, not thinner top line, but smaller footprint. It's quite, quite definitely nice less confident than the rest, but they're a heck of an iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, I feel like, like, I don't know, when you hear so many different clubs being hit in the bay mm. and the, the chase for ball speed nowadays the sound can sort of be sacrificed totally. for how thin these iron, these faces get. When you hit them, I thought the sound, so, it sounds rich to me. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like rich in terms of like the real deep in mm -hmm. terms of like the the, the material and, and where you're striking in the face. Like it, it sounded very pure. Yeah, yeah, it felt, um, I don't know, this is a term, but like pillowy. Like when you struck it, it didn't even feel like you did anything. Yeah. The ball just kind of took off, so. Yeah, impressed for sure. Yeah, and I think testament to the work done to position the centre of gravity with these irons. And, you know, guys, it, it probably sounds like <clears throat> sort of, you know, techie talk that, that we're, you know, talking about CG location mm -hmm, and these mm -hmm. three materials, the, the ceramic, the tungsten <clears throat> and the carbon steel. But it, it really does it really does make a difference when you start to position things um, very specifically for that totally. type of iron. Because you don't want the same center of gravity in a wedge as you want in a four iron, as you want in a seven iron. Like these are three very different irons. And for the type of performance we're looking for for said iron, totally. we need it in a different, different place. So if it's taken them five years, there's a reason it's taken them yeah. five years. They've got the materials right. It looks clean, feels great, performs. I think one, uh, I love this picture here, this this sort of comparison page, because mm. when we look at the three peak heights, we're sort of in the, <clears throat> they were in the mid 80s when it comes to the um, the wedge and the mm -hmm. seven, uh, seven iron in terms of peak height. Yeah. And then we dropped to about a f just a few feet. Yeah, yeah. But it's very similar. Yeah, and in, I mean, in the data collection, that last one, look, we were able to get it up to 90 feet, which is, you know, for me in a four iron is obviously Amazing. nice. I don't use a four iron right now, but I mean, if I, I had to use a four iron. It was well, pretty good. Yeah, you, you know you've got half a chance at totally, least with that one. Totally. Because you want to get back to using a five. I do want to get back to using a five, yeah. I don't know why, because the hybrid I have is quite good, but just round out the set. Yeah. Really yeah. impressive. I like these. I, Yeah, I really, really like them. Good. Available for sale right now. They are now yeah. released. They are now released. And I don't think you'll see them here, there, and everywhere. I don't no, think they'll no. be in every big box store. I do 
I think you're going to have to seek these out, guys. You're going to have to try and find a, an authorised Betonardi dealer, mm -hmm. somebody who's been trusted to, to sort of fit them correctly. Um, I yeah. think that's a big part of the story totally. with these. Um, so kudos to the guys. Yeah, well done. Kudos. Really good. And hopefully we get our hands on the blades at some point and mm -hmm. uh, test those. But we'll see V24s might disappear. They might disappear. Mm. Kudos. Well, I'd love to see them in the golf course <clears throat> and see how they perform in the course. Because as I said, I think the secret weapon, we speak a lot about the position of weight, but we also really want to see how they perform through the turf. Yeah. I think that sole is a little secret weapon to this iron. So mm -hmm. uh, I want to I want to sort of see, you know, you or someone hit those and see how those uh, play out. For sure. Great stuff. Okay, guys, let us know. Um, is this something you're interested in? Are you a Betonardi fan? Are you, you know, I know people kind of collect putters and, and you know wedges and things like that so um will that make you go out and seek out the irons i'd be uh, very curious to hear your thoughts on these a more expensive price tag mm -hmm. we know that yeah but you're going to get what you pay for right it's been you know that that quality has been engineered into the product for you guys to get it back out and perform and so if you've tried them if you've been lucky enough to try them in the seeding sort of program let us know i'd love to hear if anyone's tried them so far Definitely. Good. All right. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.